And now, a special message from Grant Tinker, chairman of NBC. Hello, I'm Grant Tinker. It's been a good year here at NBC, what with hit shows like Bill Crosby and Hill Street Station. But raking in big advertising dollars isn't our only priority. Another is building a better world. That's why tonight, it's my great pleasure to introduce the new Late Night Anthem. Why does Late Night need an anthem? Well, call me a dreamer. But it's my hope that the Late Night Anthem will inspire the nations of the world to settle their differences, leaving them more free time to watch network television. Plus, and this is important, all the really happening companies have anthems. Coke, Delta Airlines, GE, Turner Broadcasting, HBO has uh, two. Grant. Oh, sorry. Well, anyway, sit back with us now and enjoy Paul Schaefer and the Late Night International Children's Choir. And I think you'll see it's a late night world of love. Maestro? Joe Frazier and actor Robert Morley. Also, production secretary actress Marie O'Donnell. And now, a man who, before converting to the Muslim faith, was better known as Lou Alcindor.
Thank you very much. All I want to do is grab a punk, toss him up against the squad car, and pat him down. <laughs> you know what it is? I just got tired of looking like the substitute host on the 700 Club every night. Yeah. I... yeah. Okay. This, of course, now do I look like Don Johnson or not? Yes. Or, or do I look like Lyndon Johnson? Which? <laughs> okay, th this, of course, is Don Johnson. Yeah. Take this off. I am an Iraqi prisoner of war. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Paul? Hip look, babe, really. <laughs> But you know what I mean, I just, every night, and then, uh, but here no, I am, I and we, so, huh? We, a lot of us have been feeling this way, and we're thrilled. Well, why didn't, why didn't you say something? Well, because there's a tradition, you know, you don't know how far to push the tradition. A host, <laughs> he's got to come out in a kind of a square jacket, and a, you know, rear all tie. Right, all right, all right, that's it. Anyway. Uh, welcome to the uh, show, ladies and gentlemen. Should I do these? Now, these jokes are a day old, because last night we didn't get to them. Should we do them tonight? All right, we'll do them tonight. Malcolm Forbes today spent $1,760,000 for a Fabergé egg. Also spent $500,000 for some Fabergé bacon. Yeah, that, that kind of joke seems to go with the other outfit, doesn't it? All right, here's one more. White House officials are worried that the grave authorities found a couple of days ago in Brazil may actually be that of Joseph Mengele's. They're worried that Reagan will want to go down there and lay a wreath on it. Oh, thank you very much. I may just be too damn hip for my own good. <laughs> Paul, bring the car around. We're gonna blow. Uh, what else we got? Any more of these? Oh, and one more joke from... Uh, these jokes, of course, <laughs> left over from the old wardrobe, so... <laughs> uh, of course, the Los Angeles Lakers, bless their hearts, they won the world champion in uh, championship in basketball, and they went yesterday to visit President Reagan, and I thought this was nice. They gave him a Lakers jersey with the number one on it, and Reagan, his name, written on the back of the jersey, which, of course, is just what the Lakers need in their backcourt, a 73-year-old white guy. <laughs> Paul Schaefer. Well, it is, seeing you in that outfit, it really is a late night world of love. It really is. A, uh, yeah. by, by the way, lovely job with you in the International Children's Choir. I, Thank I, you. I, Weren't those kids cute? They certainly were, and uh, I have a feeling we haven't seen the last of that, given the expense that went into it. Now. Yeah. Oh, here. Here's I waived some... my fee, of course. Totally waived. Not well, you that, did waive your fee. I <laughs> paid my own expenses to get to the well, studio. Well, that's the spirit. That's exactly the spirit we're to looking do for. do that little thing. Yeah. Now, look at this, Paul. Talk about spirit. What's that? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's, Isn't that nice? That's cute. What yeah. is that? It looks like I, uh, the son of Hulk Hogan here. What do you, um, now, this is, this is interesting. You know, the, the NBC sales department, always looking for a way to sell commercial time on this program so that it becomes a huge revenue-producing machine. Now, yeah. this, they came up with this as an inducement. You see how this works? A salesman for this corporation, NBC, goes to an ad agency or to a sponsor and says, uh, Bob, uh, you know, if you uh, spend five, uh, maybe fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 on the late night show with Letterman, I uh, might be able to toss in this 89-cent stuffed toy. <laughs> so they're giving these out, the coveted stuffed toy. Well, it's uh, a time once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the late night birthday club. Let's see who the guest of honor is tonight. Why, it's none other than our old friend, Jim Neighbors, ladies and gentlemen. There's, there's Jim. All right, thank you. That's good, Jim. Okay, Jim was born, born June 12th on this date, 1933, making him how old? 52. There you are, and it's now time. Paul, happy birthday here. All right, blow out those candles, Jim. Okay, now we're done, aren't we? All right, we have a uh, wonderful program here. Robert Morley is here, Ricky Lee Jones, Joe Frazier, 
formerly of the Knockouts, will be joining us. And all of this takes place in one minute. So come on back, folks. <laughs>